Good evening to you both. Yeah, for the very first time, we are hearing directly from Trooper Brian North about what he was thinking, or at least his perception of what he thought was happening the night he pulled the trigger, ending in the death of 19-year-old Mubarak Suleiman. I still think about this every day. I, I lose sleep over it. It's, it's not an easy thing to, to experience and live with. 33-year-old Trooper Brian North testifying in his own defense, faced with manslaughter charges in the shooting death of 19-year-old Mubarak Suleiman. I felt that I had to act in that moment or the West Haven officer, even potentially Trooper Jackson, could have been killed. For the first time, jurors are hearing what he was thinking during the incident on January 15, 2020. Passing 40, speed 80 where Suleiman led police on a high-speed chase in a stolen car and crashed it in West Haven. Dispatchers calling it a carjacking, saying Suleiman had a knife. <laughs> Trooper North describing the moment he ran up to the driver's side of Suleiman's car with his gun drawn. Another trooper doing the same on the other side. At first, North says Suleiman was out of it. Then, a West Haven officer breaks the passenger window. The operator of the vehicle, he, he, it seems like he wakes up, he comes to, his eyes shoot wide open and he begins looking around. His hand then immediately shoots down to his right uh, pants pocket and he began, he, he began reaching rapidly as if to pull something out. From his view, North says he thought the West Haven officer started to reach into the car to pull Suleiman out, all with a knife in Suleiman's hand. At that point, I, I had a, it's almost like an oh my god feeling this is happening with while the West Haven officer I'm thinking is in the window because I can't see him and I was afraid that he was going to be stabbed in the face or the neck. Seconds later, North fires seven shots hitting Suleiman. Brian, why seven shots? As I, as I just said, I, I didn't know it was seven at the time. It's not something that's intentionally done seven rounds it's it's just falling back to my training the same training inspector general robert devlin argues should have required troopers to take a pause anybody communicate with this man using the pa system in your police cars no you didn't do that we did not devlin pointing to the split second decision north made to fire his gun when he thought the officer was lunging into the car did you shine the flashlight over to the passenger area to confirm or dispel where this guy's crawling through the window no absolutely not that would be extremely dangerous really it's more dangerous than shooting someone in the chest seven times Jackson, your honor as for North, claiming he shot Suleiman to save the lives of the other trooper and officer, Devlin points to this moment. Give me a quick synopsis of what happens when the bosses are asking. Just at the end of the whole thing. The no. one thing that would actually justify your conduct, the most important thing in this whole case, you don't mention that. No. Now, as has been the case for every day of this trial so far, the family of Mubarak, Mubarak Suleiman, excuse me, was in the courtroom the entire time as North was testifying at times, having to look away and shake their heads on what they were hearing. Now, on the other side of the courtroom, we also saw friends and family of Trooper Brian North and a whole lot of members of law enforcement. We're live in Milford tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. All right, Julia, thank you.